Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, our Tuesday afternoon transitions to a beautiful evening across Connecticut. There you can see our view from uh, Torrington and the Litchfield Hills. Uh, some scattered high clouds as well as some cumulus clouds closer to the surface there. A nice scene as well coming in from stores. We are dry border to border and more of the same uh, capturing the sun down in less than or about two hours or so from now. A little bit more than that actually. Uh, but uh, certainly want to enjoy that sunshine because over the coming days we're going to turn trend cloudier and as well a bit unsettled with some on and off chances for showers. Meanwhile, again, we're dry. We've got temperatures basically 70 to 75 inland, low to mid 70s along the 95 corridor, a light southeasterly breeze around 5 to 10 miles an hour. And uh, our dew point values are up a little bit compared to yesterday when we were in the 50s. We're in the low 60s now in many spots. So uh, it is going to get a little bit muggier for tomorrow into Thursday. A slow moving cold front also brings rain as we head toward the end of the week. Then behind that, uh, trending much more comfortable with the humidity dropping for the upcoming weekend. So uh, we are tracking some spotty showers to our south. Those head up in our general direction as a southerly flow continues to strengthen. So that's why it's also going to become a bit muggier as we head through the next 12 to 24 hours, all in advance of a cold front that's making its way in our direction as high pressure moves away from New England. So future cast showing this evening as we make our way past sunset, some spotty showers that will be the case through the overnight hours as well. During the day tomorrow, you want to have the umbrella on hand, but it's not a washout, a situation where there will certainly be periods of dry weather, maybe even even at times some intervals of sun, but otherwise mostly cloudy with that uh, shower chance on going from the morning right on through our afternoon. So highs tomorrow afternoon we will say mid to perhaps upper 70s inland mid 70s along the 95 corridor. So a degree or two warmer than today and certainly again muggier. And you can see on future cast as we take you Thursday into Friday, Thursday a continued chance for some spotty showers. But the arrival of that cold front off to our west is going to be slow to move in and slow to exit. So as we head uh, uh, past midnight Thursday night into early Friday morning. Uh, that's when that rain begins across the state. Can't roll out some downpours, especially with uh, perhaps some rumbles of thunder. Meanwhile, we're also keeping track of the tropics. Brand new information into the uh, early warning forecast center from the National Hurricane Center. We've got Peter, we've got Rose, and then I've also highlighted off the coast of Africa what will likely become Sam here in the next day or two. So Peter, uh, no threat to any land right now. It looks like the center stays to the east of Bermuda as we head into the upcoming weekend as it's forecast to begin dissipating by Saturday. Also forecast to dissipate in the upcoming weekend is Rose, uh, but again, no threat to any landmass, so certainly good news there. So on our seven day forecast, wet Thursday into Friday, we could see some partial late day clearing the humidity drops for the upcoming weekend. Morning lows in the 50s, afternoon highs in the mid 70s. Lots of sunshine Saturday, sun and clouds for Sunday. Continuing in the dry, beautiful stretch into Monday and Tuesday of next week. By next Tuesday, morning lows could go down into the 40s with afternoon highs between 70 and 70. Mid-70s on tap as well for the weekend for the Connecticut shoreline.